I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Awesome. Mr. Zach. I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. Nineteen eighty one Camaro up on the lift. If you've followed our channel, you know what this means. It means Zach is putting in these polished stainless steel exhaust. In this big boy, we're putting in the three inch polished exhaust dual with an X pipe. It's gonna look great, but check out the underside of this vehicle. Awesome. Big headers coming out the rear. Three inch. Oh, two sensors, plenty of transmission to hold this bad boy onto the road. Awesome. Zach has pulled the stock gauges that you see right here out of the Camaro. We originally put those in just because we didn't know exactly when the other gauges would come in. Over here are the gauges from Autometer. They come just as you see them. They were packaged really nice. They come with the general installation instructions, along with a booklet of all the different dash clusters that they make. And of course, we ordered the brushed aluminum dash, which matches nicely to the autometer gauges. Anyway, get a water temp, fuel level, speedometer, tachometer, oil pressure, and bolts. So everything is there that you need. And then they do come with all of the wire harness and sensors that you need to make it work. So anyway, Zach's gonna go to work on this, get it into the vehicle, and we will report how everything works. So Zach is putting these in, and these gauges have a nice design to them that is different than what we've had in the past. Normally you have a, a metal strap that goes here and then it pushes pressure onto the back of the gauge bezel to hold things in place. Well this comes with a nice plastic bracket. You slide it in, put the bracket on the other side, tighten it down, and you don't have to worry about the bracket widening as you tighten it down like they normally do. You just put it in, adjust it for the uh, horizontal, how you would like it. A little bit tilted, straight, and that is it. What a great look this is. in deep concentration. <laughs> Doing all the wires, getting everything hooked up, and rocking and rolling. Regrettably, one of the longest projects we've had in this shop, the owner, one of the owners is with us today for the startup. This is gonna be the first time he's ever heard it run. 
They have been patiently, patiently waiting. The final piece of the puzzles are here. So now we are gonna start it and get his reaction. So here we go. So, Excited. how long have you been waiting for this? Oh man, how long has it been now? It's been it is going, a year and a half. A year and a half, yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been going on too long. It's been a while, but, but you know what? Some of the best things in life you gotta wait for, so. And I have two kids now, so I've learned patience. <laughs> and my grandma always told me patience is a virtue, so. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm ready, man, I'm ready. Awesome. Mr. Zach. sexy too. <laughs> That's awesome. So, oh, so that, that is my question to you. So, is it too loud? No. Okay. I don't think so. All right. We actually put in dampers to tune it down a little bit more than Did what you? it originally was. Okay. Because when we first started up, it was probably, it, it, was, it was noticeably louder. Uh-huh. And I thought maybe it was too much, but with this, it toned down. I mean, just enough. Yeah, no, that's just okay. enough. I think it sounds perfect. Honestly. Awesome. Awesome. I got awesome. two girls at home, so it might wake them up a little bit, but that's okay. Sometimes yes. They gotta wake up. Dad's home. Mom's <laughs> yeah, home. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Chris. Good, good work. Awesome. 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 Good.